Hello, this is Doris Sander, and I'm getting in the holiday mood, so I thought I would share with you my December daily plans for this year. Uh, I've been doing December daily for several years now, at least half a dozen, and some years successfully, and some years not so much. Last year was a very successful year. It was my first Christmas in the Traveler's Notebook style of memory keeping. And I believe I'd started it in September, August, September, September maybe. I don't remember. Somewhere last fall, a year ago, fall, I started using the Traveler's Notebook system and loved it. And I did my December daily in it. And I'll do a quick flip through. I think I've already flipped through it last year maybe. I don't remember, but... For today's discussion, I'll just show you again. This was actually a junk journal that I made myself out of paper bags, and it worked really well. Um, and I really, one thing I like about using the Traveler's Notebook for memory keeping is it's more in the moment. Oh, that one's come unstuck. Um, but yeah, it's more it's more in the moment with the memory keeping, uh, meaning that instead of worrying about your design, which is something I love to do, but but instead of focusing on your design, you focus more on just getting the memories written down and recorded, and that works really well for December dailies because you get busy in December. And so what I did, I just focus on the journaling every day. So I wrote every day and didn't worry so much about the decorations until after I wrote. Now that can be somewhat of a problem because you don't want to cover your writing but you still want to make it pretty. So I did, you know, when I was, when they were available and I could get it done, I would add stickers um, before the journaling and you know ephemera bits if I had them available I would go ahead and put those before the journaling but for the most part the pictures were put on afterward so you can see that the bulk of those are tip-ins and that just worked really well so this one was very simple very simple December daily I used washi I wrote with my black pen and colored in every day with markers. Um, I use photo tip-ins. I use a lot of post-it notes for the tabs. I had a bunch of stickers and a few tags and bits of ephemera. Um, but yeah, so it was very simple and it turned out well. And I was pretty happy with it. I was just really happy that I wrote every day. That's something that I don't always get done. And I think the reason I was successful was because I did the writing first and then added everything else afterward. Because if you wait on photos, I mean, for me at least, that, that slows me down. So I really want to do the same thing this year. And I have not made my own paper bag journal but I did purchase another I, I purchased the craft I think I got this on my trip to New York actually I purchased a craft insert from the Traveler's Notebook brand it was the 014 so I'm going to use this for my December daily and I'm going to do the same process focus on the writing first and then everything else later but I have learned a few things in the past year, so I'm going to jazz it up a little more hopefully, but not too much. I don't want to slow down my process. So I'm going to use my Distress Stains more for the backgrounds. Um, with Distress Stain, you can put it on top of your writing or beneath it, um, as long as you use a... You can put it on top of your writing as long as you use a permanent pen. So I'm going to make sure and use my Micron pens 
or my pit pens instead of what I typically use, which is my little clicker, and like this. I, I use this a lot for journaling, but um, it's not waterproof. It's not permanent. So, there you go. So, I have to be careful and only use this one. I know I'm not putting anything wet over it, but this one can handle better the wetness. I have a bunch of markers that I'll be coloring in with. These are Tim Holtz. Of course, I'll be using my washi. I still have stickers from last year, and I found some cute new ones at Walmart, actually. And tip-ins per usual. I might add more Project Life card ones instead of just the photos from last year. We'll see. The main difference that you didn't see in this notebook, but I plan to do this year, is clear pockets. So, these are just um, um, trading card or game piece clear pockets. I got them in some clearance bin at Barnes & Noble while we were traveling to Florida. So, these, and I've been doing it the same thing with I save... Um, clear packaging also and it's the same exact idea so I will just instead of a tip in I can just put a little adhesive on the back and stick it directly to the text and then you can still read under it if you pull the ephemera or photos out of the pocket so that's just in the same with the clear packaging so that's just another fun idea for making your pages work with putting your writing down first and your photos and ephemera later so those are ideas and then one more little idea is my friends and I are having a Christmas goodies swap so we made a list of different items that we could swap that we might have in our stash um, and I cheated and went to the dollar spot at Target for some of mine but I found cute Christmas post-it notes to share so you can either swap stuff from your stash which is going to be new to the other person or a lot of times stuff comes in bulk and you just want one or two so it's fun to share with friends so that's what we're doing so like all these tags came you know six or eight in a pack and I just kept one of each for myself and share the rest with friends so that was super fun um, little, this is a little note card with an envelope I thought would make a great tip-in or pocket on the page. This is a larger one. Um, a money holder that'll work well on the Midori style. Um, one of the items on our list was punched items, so I made these tabs. And another one was stamped, so I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to take all my Christmas stamps and pre-stamp them on cardstock, white cardstock, so that we can share them. I just find that I'm lazy about stuff like that, and so if it's pre-made, I'll probably use it. But if I have to like pull the stuff out and do it in the moment, I probably won't. Yeah. So we swap stickers and then uh, specialty paper. So I found this cute tissue paper. I also want to dig out some acrylic papers. I like, I like the clear uh, see-through elements on my pages too. So yeah, that's my, that's my, my December daily ideas for this year. And I'm going to try to post those each week as I do them and share with you. So I would love to hear about your December daily and what you're planning to do, if anything. So post links below if you are. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And happy holidays. Bye.